Berserk chapter 374. We have been waiting for this chapter for over 4 months now, hoping to see our favorite manga continue. However, the result is a mostly recap chapter detailing the Kushan's attack on the ship. I can forgive this recap aspect, towards the end, we finally see the return of our beloved character who has been absent from the story for a while now. Let's break down this chapter from start to finish to understand what's happening. The chapter opens up with the Kushan army quietly approaching the ship without being noticed by the crew, who are focused on supporting Shirke in her meditative state inside of the ship. The Crucians launch their attack on the ship and Isidro and Serpico, still outside, initially believe that Shirke is responsible for the noise. And literally on the next page they find themselves surrounded by the Crucians. I appreciate Serpico's immediate instinct to draw a sword, but he left his equipment inside the ship and decides to make a run for it instead. A Crucian is standing right behind them, but Isidro just smacks the motherfucker with the dropkick into the ocean, dying light style. Both both of them attempt to enter the ship, but all doors are locked and no one inside can respond due to being surrounded by Kushans. It's a nice touch to see them putting up a fight rather than giving in, even though it's surprising that no one appears to have been hurt or killed during the attack, which we will get to later. The Kushans eventually reach Guts' room and a character whose name I've forgotten reflects internally that opening this door could spell doom for everyone if Guts were to activate the Berserker armor in his enraged state. However, thanks to Griffith taking Casca away from Guts, he is now in this broken spirit state and he can't even lift the Dragon Slayer. The Kushans are terrified upon seeing Guts with the Dragon Slayer and likely recognize the danger he opposes. They attempt to push the weapon away from Guts, but he briefly awakens, reaching for it before passing out again. Realizing the threat Guts poses, the Kushans chain him up to ensure he can't harm them. In fact, they've captured everyone on the ship and Roderick attempts to negotiate with them, asking that they can spare the children and women. However, it seems the Kushans cannot understand them, leading Roderick to discuss with his crew the possibility that the Kushans have expanded their army significantly since their last encounter, possibly even into naval warfare. This moment reminded me that the characters are unaware of the Kushan war being over and Griffith's current status as the ruler of the world, making the situation even more perplexing. The fact that the Kushans haven't immediately killed them suggests there's another motive behind their capture, which we do not know of. The chapter provides snapshots of various characters including Silas and the beefed up Bakirakas, and on the last page we witness the return of the hardest bitch slapper of this planet, Rickard. Finally, we have the long awaited reunion of the Ban of the Hawk. I had the feeling that we might see Rickard in the latest chapter since the Kushans are attacking the ship, but I was open to any development. Speaking of previous chapter, it's worth noting that there hasn't been much progress in the story between chapter 373 and 374. While I understand that Berserk can have an irregular release schedule, the constant hiatus are literally killing me. I want to clarify that I am not suggesting the writers and illustrators should disregard their health or put in more effort. It's important to respect their well-being. What I am saying is that the chapter was completed earlier, but the publishers have delayed its release for business reasons which I really do not understand. In conclusion, I enjoyed this chapter, but I wish the creators would announce a more consistent release schedule rather than leaving fans in the dark about the next hiatus lasting until I don't know lol. As for King Rickard's return, I am filled to see him back and look forward to the development his presence will bring to the story. Guts and his crew will have a significant army boost to battle against the other band of the Hawks, so I am looking forward to see what happens next. What are your thoughts on Rickard's return? Please share your opinions in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed this video then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Berserk content. I'm the Reading Crow and thanks for watching.